Welcome everyone to another NASCAR Heat Evolution video. In this video I want to go a little bit more in depth with our testing uh, versus what we did in the previous video about the relationship between grill tape and engine RPM and engine temperature and so forth when using the gearing settings. In this video we're going to use the extremes of grill tape to see if it has any difference on the handling and the speed of the car. Now, if you remember from the previous video, we used a 3.33 rear end gear along with 50% tape in one of our tests. Well, that's what we're going to start off with here. So we're going to save our setup, 50% grill tape, 3.33 gear, or 333. And again, I'm going to head straight out to the track and get right in these guys' way exactly what you shouldn't do but we're going to go out here and i am going to we're going to be looking at lap times uh, but i'm also for now going to pull back up the status uh, pop-up screen that shows what our oil temperature is right now we're at 195 197 if you remember from the previous video this got us up this configuration of 50 percent tape with a 333 gear got us very close to 230 degrees on engine temperature i believe it settled in at somewhere around you know 226 227 somewhere in that range so we're going to see what it does here as we use the different tape configurations now here, obviously, using the 50%, I would expect it to get right back up to that same number again. But we'll see. And then we'll also follow along and see what we can get to as the AI is bumping on me here. And the idea of this test is not so much the engine temperature, but what we want to see how using different amounts of grill tape affect the handling of the car and then correspondingly the speed now this won't be exactly a scientific test because again we don't have the ability to get out on the track with no other cars around but we do have the ability to see how the handling is affected by using different amounts of grill tape so we're using basically the max amount of grill tape we can get by with in a race setup for this gearing all right, as you can see, we got down to a 29.34 that time. And here I'm going to have to use a higher line. Otherwise, I would run right into the back of the four car. And we've got more cars coming out on the track now. So we're not going to be running our absolute best laps. Still there. So we're basically running the second groove. Here, and as you can see, our engine temperature, uh, as represented by the oil temperature, is at 226, 227, somewhere in that range. So, the same thing we saw in the previous video, that's good. Consistency and repeatability is always good. So, we'll run, we'll finish up this lap. See what we get on the time. All right, so we run a 29.7 there. Quickest time is in the 29.3 area, as you can see from our first lap here. Okay, let's go to miscellaneous settings, grill tape, and take this all the way to zero. So we're going to save that setup. Same gearing, same everything else on the setup. So the setup should be exactly the same with the exception of any difference that would be brought about from the grill tape. Again, we're gonna break all of the rules of NASCAR and come immediately out onto the track. All right, so once again, looks like we're gonna be around some cars. All right, let's see what happens to our speeds. We've been running the second groove for our first test. And looks like we might actually get a little bit of room here for a lap or so. All right, so let's go ahead and run 
about the second groove here as well. Maybe a touch lower there. All right, and we'll pull up the engine temperature. And we're really closing in on the one car, so we'll go back up to our second groove. And so far, I got to tell you, the car is feeling the same. I really can't tell any difference. And as you can see from the lap time, our lap time was actually very quick considering we were running the second. Let's go to the A button and see that we just ran a 2932, which was actually quicker than our previous test with a 50% tape. And I got to tell you, I'm seeing no ill effects from removing all the grill tape. See what we get here? We get a 29.5. So right now, it appears as though the fastest laps we can run, and hey, there you go, just go ahead and body slam me there if you need to, Chris Busher. Gotta love the AI. Sure hate to get on the track and uh, interrupt the AI as they go about their computerized business. So obviously this lap is gonna be a, a good bit slower. Let's go back to our engine temperature and you can see that sure enough the engine is running quite a bit cooler. So whereas before it was near 230, here it's running at just below 200 and we get back down to a lap time of this lap of a 29.5. We'll get down and run a little bit lower. This time through one and two. We won't be able to do that through three and four because we're right behind a car. But again, I can tell you, I can get down to the bottom if I need to, and I can easily run the second or third grooves just as I could before. And you can see a 29.33 there. And the lower I'm able to keep it in the corner, the lower that lap time is gonna get. But again, I'm gonna go up to the second groove because I don't wanna, I wanna be able to keep it wide open instead of having to lift because I'm around these other cars. So another lap in the 29.3s. So I think that shows us quite conclusively as you look at our lap times a lot of 29 threes in there and again this is the same exact setup that we were using before with the only difference being grill tape so i think based on that i no longer care about grill tape because it doesn't seem to do anything for us it should reduce the drag make us faster down the straightaway the more we add it also should give us more front down force the more we add i'm seeing neither of those so let me know in the comments if you guys are seeing the same type thing or if you've taken the opportunity to do any of the testing like I have. Uh, or if you're seeing anything different, maybe you've done some testing and you're showing that the grill tape does have an effect. I'd love to hear from you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more NASCAR Heat Evolution.